Hi guys, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skeetle, back with another episode of Toy Talk. Today I have for you another 64th scale Neo model of a Diamond Rio C119 Raider. This is a classic conventional tractor. Stay tuned as I have a surprise for you later on in the video. I have talked about the White Motor Company, Diamond T, and Diamond Rio companies before in a couple of videos. If you haven't seen those videos, please go on and watch them with the links down below. Also, please help me out by smashing that like button, making a purchase on one of my web stores, and sponsoring me over on my Patreon page to help keep this very time-consuming channel going. Links to my sites and my Patreon are down in the description below. Diamond Rio Trucks became a division of the White Motor Corporation in 1967 from the merger of the Diamond T and the Rio Trucks Marquis. Rio Trucks date back to 1904 when Ransom E. Olds, the founder of Oldsmobile, began building motor cars. Diamond T trucks date back to 1905 when C.A. Tilt began building vehicles. Both Rio trucks and Diamond T trucks remained separate truck manufacturers until they were acquired by the White Motor Corporation. Both manufacturers produced quality trucks. Skipping forward all the way to 1971. In 1971, Francis L. Capert of Birmingham, Alabama bought Diamond Rio from White and formed the independent company called Diamond Rio Trucks, Inc. And at about the same time, the Diamond Rio C116 series was introduced, which featured Cummins NTC and Detroit 12V71 engines. Despite the new model introductions and the excellent reputation, Diamond Rio was forced into bankruptcy on December 6, 1974. Between 1967 and 1974, Diamond Rio produced quality trucks. Also during this time period, Diamond Rio produced the model C-119 Raider along with several other models of conventional and cab over trucks. Today, I have a very fine and highly detailed Neo scale models replica of a C-119 Raider to show you. So, follow me on over to the rock quarry and take a look at this model Rio conventional tractor. And this is 1974 Diamond Rio Raider with setback front axle and at this time it has a sleeper behind it. It is in a blue and striped paint scheme for Maison Trucking of Santa Fe, New Mexico. And here's the item number, Neo 64096. I'll take him out of the box. This has a box style sleeper added behind the cab set back front axle on it you can see it has a box style turn signal mounted on top of the fender the angled back front bumper no mud flaps on the back of the fenders of the front rides on 10 hole fronts and 10 hole bud rears they're both painted silver to make them look like they're aluminum fuel tank is there with the fuel cap in the back and steps that are look like diamond tread it has a loop type step under to climb up into the sleeper there's a door into the sleeper with a hand grab and then there's also a toolbox door under that up here you can see there's the main door and then down there is the toolbox door the exhausts are mounted behind the sleeper instead of in front tailpipes are just pieces of stainless that are mounted into the resin exhaust pipe into the muffler the exhaust itself is a resin painted silver 
And then to give you a heat shield, they just put little black dots around it. Battery box is there. Quarter fenders, they're painted aluminum and then the black mud flaps on the back. Bumper is also painted silver for aluminum. It has Maison Trucking, Santa Fe, New Mexico written on the door. And then it has this multi-stripe pattern that goes from light blue to white. Really nice. Oil filter is there, spotlight, mirror, door handle, and grab bar to get in easily. Windows on this guy are a uh, soft plastic vacuum formed that have on the side windows so that you can have your little wind wing. It has a photo etched piece around it. The rest of it is painted black for gaskets. Oh, also you can see it has the Diamond Rio logo right there and it says Raider. Round to the front and it says it has a New Mexico license plate. Makes sense since the trucking company's out in Santa Fe, New Mexico. It has the blue diamonds going up the center instead of the red, but that matches the blue paint scheme. And then it has the red Diamond Rio logo right there where you would grab it. Individual jewel style headlights in two in each pod. There's those turn signals right there and there. Then individual style jewel style headlights in the uh, spotlights one on each side tipping up you can see how the stripes come up to the center of the hood but they don't meet interior is tan two seats dashboard and steering wheel with side panels there's also a gear shift in there and you can see the two vents for the defrost the dashboard is also full detail. The windshield wipers, be careful with them. They are photo etched pieces. Up on the roof, individual uh, bullet style roof lights, silver with orange on the front and silver air horns. On the mirrors, you can see the chevron pattern there with the yellow tampos. That was pretty common in the 70s is to put those chevrons and then they were really yellow reflectors so that people could see them. Really good idea. Mirrors on both sides are resin pieces. Bumper is resin. Really, really nice photo etched piece inside the grill and then silver trim all around it. Round to the passenger side. You can see Maison Trucking, Santa Fe, New Mexico on the door. Diamond Rio logo and Raider right there up on the front of the hood. The setback axle configuration with the angled bumper. Turn signal there and then the multi-strike pattern. Really nice. Another loop step to get into the sleeper. Toolbox and door into the sleeper. And then there is the grab bar to climb up into the sleeper. Fuel tank and steps right here to get in the cab grab bar, door handle, mirror, and then something that was pretty common on white motors trucks, which Auto Car and Diamond Rio were part of, is this right here. They used square box uh, air filters instead of round turbo filters. I don't know whether that would be any better or not. I don't see why it wouldn't work, so I'd probably be okay. Exhaust with the uh, black dots for the heat shield right there another toolbox quarter fender and mud flaps also you can see here the 10 hole wheels front and rear painted in silver to look like aluminum round to the back another New Mexico plate that's just a decal mounted on the mud flap individual jewel style brake lights and then two mud flaps tipped up a little you can see the tread pattern really nice tread pattern on these tires vintage the fifth wheel it pivots and it is set up for DCP and first gear straight kingpin trailers these look great with their vintage trailers back of the cab your electric and your airlines for brakes come from the back top and go down not really sure where they came up with that idea but they did and that's pretty much how they put the lines on all of their trucks.
Now the cab and the sleeper box are uh, resin on this truck and the frame is die cast. Up top you can see the air horns and the individual bullet style roof lights. Also you can see the sleeper right there you can see them be between them. I imagine the stripes that not only continue around the sleeper but they probably continue around the cab so if you took the sleeper off you could have yourself a nice day cab after a little bit of modifying to move the stacks forward instead of being behind the sleeper because that would look really weird the stacks that far away from the cab. Underneath on the frame it says 164 Diamond Rio Raider set back front axle 1974 and then Neo scale models. There is the torsion bar rear suspension, differentials, drive shafts, bottom of the engine detail and bottom of the transmission detail tie rod now there's no steerable axle but the tie rod is there and it's got front spring suspension and you can see how they mounted the truck just a little further forward to get a setback axle design one frame gets both pretty ingenious right there also the hood does not tilt and the doors on the cab do not open or the doors to the sleeper there's actually absolutely nothing in the sleeper it's just a chunk of resin now this has a big freight company it's a sleeper so i think this would look really good hooked up to a dry van trailer so let's show it off with a vintage dry van trailer by dcp because you really need to know what these trucks look like with a trailer in order to get an idea of what to do with them on your layout perfect for a vintage truck show antique truck show farm wants a custom truck to play or just put a nice trailer with it running down the highway especially if you wanted to do a period 70s 60s 70s or 80s uh, diorama this these trucks have been very common on it most of the neos would fit right in there very well and that my friends is the resin cab on die cast frame by neo scale models and die cast trailer by dcp die cast promotions cab is a 1974 Diamond Rio Raider with a setback front axle and the trailer is just a 40 foot vintage Fruhoff. Well guys, I unearthed another Hollywood star. Did you know that the 1974 Diamond Rio C119 Raider appeared in episode 11 of the TV series Moving On? I sure didn't. The series aired from 1974 to 1976. The show was much like the Cannonball TV series that aired many years prior on Canadian television. I did a video on this show and the GMC Cannonball and there's a link to it down in the description below so you can go and watch it. The Diamond Rio was in Moving On Episode 11 titled High Roller starring Claude Akins as Sonny Pruitt, Frank Converse as Will Chandler, and Christina Raines as Rita. The plot of Episode 11, High Roller, goes like this. Will and Sonny pull a load of fresh eggs and a trailer with a broken reefer into Las Vegas, Nevada, where Will meets two old friends from back east. A girl named Rita, who is now a card dealer at a local casino, and her ex-husband Chuck, a former stunt driver and now truck driver. Sonny and Will's old truck is an old Kenworth W925. While looking to break out on his own, Will, played by Frank Converse, test drives a Diamond Rio Raider. At the time, the Diamond Rio was considered the Cadillac of the big rigs by truckers in the 1970s. On this test drive, Will gets into a fantastic race with Chuck's white Freightliner COE for some real excitement in the episode. A footnote, the day after episode 11 aired, featuring a beautiful green Diamond Rio Raider, this would be December 6, 1974. 
the Diamond Rio Company was forced into bankruptcy, making the 1974 Diamond Rio Raider the last true Diamond Rio ever built. Another little note, Moving On's theme song was written and performed by legendary country music singer Merle Haggard and his band, The Strangers. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to smash that like button. Make a purchase on any of my web stores for your collection. Sponsor me over on my Patreon page and subscribe to my channel for more great diecast reviews and histories. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.